Bob Perfect Pet Nail Goma. So let's see what it's all about. This one is electric. I had to put in three AA batteries, I think. And you put the nails in this hole. For the smaller nails, you put it in different spots. And all you have to do is press it right here. There's a LED light. Looks like Gus is interested. He's like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> Gus, you wanna do it? <laughs> For the puppy, we'll need the smallest opening and then you can just... Gus, go away! And at the end, you clip it to the dog. So and it's supposed to reflect really, really well if you hiking in a neighborhood. I got here red copper, five minute chief, garlic master. 45%, 402. Whoa, 53% in just like 30 minutes. That's amazing. So we got gain 8%. Wow, that's awesome! Well guys, in conclusion, this gadget is amazing. I'm definitely going to use it again. I can't believe how fast I charge my phone in just 30 minutes. 8%. You saw it. Maybe a little bit longer, like 33 minutes. Here's an easy way to slice a pineapple. And for the next gadget, I got here bacon bowl maker. I have tried before microwavable bacon bowl maker. It was a disaster. Oh no, looks like this one is a disaster too. For the next gadget, I got here mixer. This is pretty cool mixer. Let me show you what's all about. So when you press it down, it's going to keep mixing without electricity, but also it mixes very, very fast. So this ice would not freeze. I've been waiting for a few hours already. I guess you gotta wait till it's overnight almost or something. But here's the idea. But here's the idea how to open it. Pull on this lever. Boom. And look at it. All this. Oh! Oops, too much. But look at that. Look at this ice cubes. Wow. It actually worked. Can you believe it? And same thing on this side, you just pull it up and it breaks off. I guess you don't have to do it all the way. Your apple potato slicer. It's already a fail. Let's demonstrate. Not as powerful as I expected, but as you can see, I have no problem holding it without messing up my hands. I have two different type of cans. Let's see if it's going to work with both of them. And as you can see, it's not cutting it. It's just pulling the top apart. Okay, sounds like it just did it. No, it didn't yet. Oh yeah, it did. Wow, I couldn't even tell. This is awesome. Okay, let's try this with a bigger can. So instead of cutting it, it's just separating the edge of the can. That's it. Can't even tell that it's cutting. You know what? This is amazing. I'm putting it in my dog room, feeding room. Oh no. No, that worked too. Oh my gosh. Wow. Sense, right? Grab it by the back, by the front, lift it up. And if you want to drop it, all you have to do is just let go like that. Whoa. Sorry guys, you okay, right? A little accident over there. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my forest where safety is number one priority. One, taller one, let it spin a little, or even better, stick it in there. So it makes sense, right? It gets slippery, then you can take... I got here, drill pineapple slicer. Whoops! 
For this bagel slicer, one of these big stations. Okay, let's see how this works. You press right here to release it and then you stick your bagel in, then you close it and there's a blade that will slice the bagel. Let's open it up. I got my bagel. My bagel almost too big for this. Is this all the way in? Yep. Yeah, look at that. It'll get smooshed, I think. Then you cut it, let go. Oh no, my bagel. This is probably the most efficient bagel slicer. So this is what it looks like. Let's see, it will fit a big bagel. Almost, we'll stuff it in, perfect. And look at this big blade. No way. I don't know what's on with these bagels, but it didn't work with these bagels, for sure. Yeah, that's a total fail. For the first gadget I got here, salad slim. I think for this gadget I have to stand up. So as you can see, four pieces of cloth like this holds together. Hopefully the salad don't slim out everywhere, but you want to spin it as fast as possible. Uh, oh, wow, it didn't go anywhere. It's a bit hard, especially if you're spinning lots of salad. Yeah, it's funny, this is the weirdest kitchen gadget I've ever seen. Oops. Everything stayed anyways. This is gonna be my thumbnail probably.